In this video we're making a wire wrapped tree of life with beads on a heart shaped crystal. It's quite a versatile design. I do make these trees of life with or without beads, but today we're just going to use the smaller, darker seed beads for the contrast against the rose quartz crystal. For this design, we make a little circle or oval shape out of 20 gauge wire for the back of our crystal. And then our little tree we attach around the edges of the heart. So you can see I've got all my roots under the bottom and the branches around the sides to hold our little rose quartz heart crystal secure. For this design, we use a 40 millimeter by 40 millimeter crystal heart. Now for the first part of our design, we're using seven inches of 20 gauge dead soft silver wire. This is for the bale and the circle shape on the back of our pendant. Now we can start to make our bale. So just leaving a little piece straight on the end there and bringing the wire around my round nose pliers, two full loops for a nice strong bale. And then I can bring this little tail piece around the other piece of wire. Crimping it down nice and tight for a nice secure bale. Now we're going to start to form our little circle shape for the back. I like to use something that's a similar size to the back of our heart. You want your little circle or oval shape to be slightly smaller than the heart so that it sits on the back of your crystal and can't be seen from the front. So I'm using a little nail polish here. I just bring my wire around, then placing it onto the crystal. I wanna make sure it's the right size. I'm just working with my wire until I'm happy that it's sitting on the back there how I want it. Then just holding it in place there, I'm just going to bring this tail end around the bottom of my bale there to secure that circle in place. Bringing it around nice and tight a couple of times and then cutting it down nice and short and crimping it in tight so that it's all nice and secure. Now that it's secure, you can check your little shape onto the back of your crystal. It doesn't need to be a perfect circle, it just needs to go to the outer edges of your crystal so that you can wrap your wires around it. Now you can check and adjust your bale if needed. Make sure it's nice and straight. Check your shape again from the front and make sure you can't see it. If needed, you can bend that shape outwards a little bit just to make sure it sits nicely on the back. Now we can move on to the tree part of our wrap. So for this here, we need 16 five and a half inch lengths of 24 gauge wire. So I'm just going to measure all of those out and cut them to length. Now we've got all 16 of our five and a half inch lengths and we're going to place all the ends together. You can tap the ends on the table and sort of bend them nice and straight so that all those ends are sitting evenly. Now we're going to start to make the big twist in the center for our tree trunk. Just below the middle of all your wires here is the section that we're going to twist. From the center down, we don't twist it all the way to the end, we're just twisting this little section here. So you can twist it with your hands or you can use two sets of pliers and gently twist it with them. Now these shorter wires on the bottom here are going to be our tree roots. I like my tree roots to be nice and evenly spaced out, so I'm just spreading them out and then I can see how I want them to sit on the crystal so that I can tuck them underneath that crystal and they're all nice and even. You want to check your little wire tree onto your crystal quite often. 
just to make sure that it's going okay for size and that the proportion of the roots and trunk and branches is all on track. We just take our time with our tree now so that we can get it all in proportion before we attach it onto our crystal heart. So we sort of tuck our little roots underneath the point on the heart and then up in this portion we can see where our little branches are going to start to come off. So all those wires coming around the edges are going to hold our crystal in place. Now we're just working towards getting the general sizing of our tree. For these heart shaped crystals I like to split the wires off the trunk here into two parts. So I've got 16 wires in total, so that's 8 wires coming up each side. So I just split that in half and twist all of those 8 wires together on each side just to give a little bit of height there coming up each side of the heart. Just a couple of twists on each side and then I can start to bring some of my wires off for the branches that come off the sides here. So I just bring them off in bunches of 3 or 4 twist them a couple of times and then you can bring another one or two wires off, twist them a couple of times. It all depends on how you want your tree to look. Each of these trees is totally unique so just remember that there's no right or wrong. You could twist your branches right out to the edges you could have a tall, skinny tree with most of the branches coming upright, or you could have a fuller, shorter tree with the branches coming around the sides. This is just how I make mine, but it's totally up to you. As long as that crystal is held in place, that's the most important thing. So we're just sort of working our way upwards on the tree, and once we've put some of our twists on, we're going to pop some of our little beads on as well. Sort of makes the tree look like it's got little flowers or fruit on there with the beads on there as well. But if you don't want to put beads on, that's totally fine as well. So just checking our little tree is still going all right for size on our crystal. And just working still on that general basic sizing for the tree. Once we've done a few twists on each branch, we're going to attach our wire wrap onto the crystal by the roots first. And then we can start to put our seed beads onto the branches at the top. It's much easier to do the bulk of these twists on the branches before you've attached the tree onto the crystal. Once you've attached the roots on, you still can adjust the branches though, so you can still undo some of the wires or do them up tighter. Once your tree is mostly in the shape that you want it and sitting on your crystal nicely, we're going to tape our little tree onto the crystal. Spreading those roots out and then I can bend them underneath the point on the bottom of our crystal heart where I want those roots to sit. Now we can grab some electrical tape and we're going to secure both of our wire pieces onto the crystal so that we can secure our wire pieces on in the right positions. Now we start by securing that little circle and bale shape onto the back of our crystal. Just make sure you know which side you want the front of your crystal to be. Placing the circle on with the bale at the top and we want to leave this bottom part of the circle open so that we can still access it. So I'm just placing my tape across the top half of that circle so that I can still wrap my roots around the bottom part. Then I'm also going to secure our little tree on so I just bend all these branches upwards and then I can stick a little piece of tape over that tree part. We only need access to the roots here, so as long as it's held in place, you're going to be able to wrap your roots on and hold that bottom half in place. Now we're going to go ahead and start wrapping each of these wires individually onto the little circle at the back. Some of the wires will come on each side of that point, just holding that crystal in place. Just make sure they're all sitting nice and evenly there and in a position that they look good. You don't want them overlapping or anything, so you just sort of space them all out. And we're going to bring each wire one at a time around this little circle at the back. So I start with one of these wires in the middle here and just gently grab it with my pliers and then poke it underneath 
that little circle wire there so that I can bring it around one full loop. Bending it around that little circle on the back and bringing it nice and tight so that it's going to be pulled tight and tidy. Then we can move on to the next wire and do the same thing there. So just bending it underneath, bringing it around one full loop and pulling it tight. So we're going to work our way from the center of our wires here across to the right hand side and then back to the center and then across to the left hand side. I find all of these wires are secure enough with just one full loop around, except for the wires on each end. I do those two or three loops around, but all those wires in the middle don't have a lot of movement. So one nice tight loop around is fine for them. Just keep checking on the front as well that all your roots are looking nice and tidy. And we're just going to work our way right across all of these wires and make sure they're secured on there nice and tight. So work your way across all of those wires on the bottom here, wrapping each one of these wires around one full loop except for the very end wires which you can wrap around a couple of times. Then your wire wrap should look something like this with all of those wires secure but you want to come back to the centre wires now and work to just secure each one on there properly. So I come back to these centre wires here and grabbing one wire at a time with your pliers pull it nice and tight and then lift it up so that you can cut it really short with your pliers and then crimp it on nice and tight onto that circle wire. Then you can work your way across all of those wires here cutting them off nice and short and crimping them on nice and tight so that they're all secured onto that circle shaped wire and that there's no sharp pieces anywhere. Now it should look something like this once all your little wire roots are secured onto that circle. So you want to make sure that all your roots are coming on either side of the point at the bottom of your heart there. That will hold your heart nice and secure. Once you're happy with that we can go ahead and take this electrical tape off the front and the back. I find I can do this tree part without any tape on there as long as you can be conscious of holding that circle in place. You want this bale to be sitting right at the top in the centre as well and then I find it's easy just having access to that whole circle around the side. Now we can focus on our tree again so I just spread the wires out and start to get a feel of how I want it to look on that heart. I like to have some of my branches come off quite low around the sides here to hold that crystal secure. For our design today we're using these beautiful charcoal 2mm seed beads. We're just using the one type of bead for our design today. So we can start to place some onto our branches. Obviously if they were flowers or fruit they would be on the outer edges of these branches. So that's sort of how I'm going to put my beads on as well. It's all done by eye again, there's no right or wrong way of doing this. So I just place them on to some of the wires. Some of them I twist a bit further on the other side of the bead and then you can place another bead on. I try and have my tree be generally symmetrical but sometimes there's one or two more beads on one side or the other depending on what looks good. You don't have to have a bead on every wire. But you can actually place the beads on a wire and then we're going to come and bend the wires a little bit so that holds the bead in place as well. So I'm just working around the tree placing the beads on. I'm just placing some in a little bit further and then twisting the wires a little bit and then placing some more on the outer edge as well. You can keep checking it onto your crystal as well every so often just to make sure it's still looking in proportion and you're not going off the edge of that heart.
Once you're happy with the positions of all your little seed beads, we're going to start to wrap our branches around and secure this tree onto the back circle of our wire wrap. I always start in the middle at the center here as a good anchor point. So I like to bring one wire from the left hand side here over to the right hand side of the bale. Bringing it over the center here and then tucking it underneath that little circle wire on the back. And then we can bring it around for one full loop just to start to secure this little tree on the top here. Now I'm going to take one wire from the right hand side and just bring that over to the left hand side of the bale. And do the same thing again, just wrapping that wire, tucking it underneath that circle on the back and bringing it around that one full loop to start to secure that on as well. I find there's a lot more space up the top here for these wires. So I do one full loop to start with, but then I actually come back and do another few loops on each wire just to make sure they're all secured nice and tight and there's a lot more space so it doesn't get too bulky up here. So we're just going to work our way around our tree now, popping more beads on if you want to have them out further towards the edges. Working our way around and just bringing each wire around onto the back to wrap it around that circle shape so that we can secure our heart shaped crystal in place. You do want to be careful while you're working around these top kind of low parts that you don't pull these wires too tight or they're going to slip upwards or downwards. So just making sure that you're holding that wire for that branch in the position that you want and then wrapping it around the circle on the back. Although you do want each wire securely wrapped tight around that circle on the back, you don't actually need the tension to be super tight on the wire because we're going to come along after and kind of make some little zigzag shapes on the wire with our pliers to make the branches look more natural. So it's okay if the tension is not super, super tight. So I just keep working my way around. These Tree of Life pendants are quite time consuming and they are a little bit fiddly. So just keep your patience and work your way right around each branch one at a time. And it really is worth it at the end. So this is what it looks like after I've done one wrap around on each wire. See these are quite long so I'm just going to snip those off as well and make them a bit more manageable for my second wrap around. As long as your wires are long enough to wrap around another couple of times you can definitely cut them off. If you are happy with your wrap so far and it's all sitting symmetrical then you can go ahead and come back to the centre and work your way around your wire wrap. So I'm just going to start here at the top and work each wire around another loop or two. Working them under that little circle there and then pulling them nice and tight, cutting them short and crimping them down nice and tight onto that circle wire. It's really important there's no sharp pieces on the back here that could rub against someone's skin. So I'll just continue on and do all of our wires here right around the sides as well. And then we're going to use our pliers to bend our little wires to make them look more like branches. All right, now we're done with securing all those wires onto the circle at the back. We're going to grab some of our pliers that have a little flat tip. So I'm going to use this pair on the left because they're slightly bigger and we're going to start by just bending these wires so that they look more like a natural tree shape. So I start right down the bottom and you can actually bend the trunk and the branches, the parts that are twisted as well. So I place my plier tips over the wire 
and then just sort of twist my pliers to the left and to the right sort of shaping the wires into a more branch shape. I'm trying to also make sure that those wires come around each of those sort of lobes on the heart or that bigger area on each side just so that the tree looks even coming over those bigger areas. So starting on the twisted parts, we're sort of bending those wires to the left and right. And then as we get out further to the outer edges where it's just a wire, then we can place the pliers on and sort of bend the wires like a bit of a zigzag. And that really makes them look more like branches. If you've got beads on a single wire, then you just wanna bend those wires as well just to make little zigzags in the wire so that there's a little section holding that bead in place. And we're just working our way outwards so that all our little straight pieces of wire have some texture in them and look more like proper branches. Now you can take some extra time just to check over your whole wire wrap design. Make sure all your branches are sitting how you like them and all symmetrical and all those wires are securely attached onto your circle at the back. You want to make sure your bale is nice and straight as well. And there's our wire wrapped tree of life with beads on a heart shaped crystal. <laughs>